Hi guys, just wanted to let you know about something really important when you're using high power devices, USB-C. Let's say you have both the super high power charger, this is a 100 watts charger and then you want to charge a device and it's not charging with 100 watts but uh, much lower. And this doesn't directly mean that there is something wrong with your charger. There could also be a problem with the cable and I'm going to show you that in detail. This is crazy. I haven't been aware of that. So let's uh, connect this USB-C wire here to this uh, USB-C tester. And then we are doing a test like the fast charge enumeration, which is supposed to show the protocol compatibility. And I've always been thinking that this has nothing to do with the cable because it's not a real test. It's not sending a lot of power here. It's just checking for the compatibility. And I always really thought it has nothing to do with the cable. So let's check that here. This is supposed to be 100 watts uh, fast charge and what we see here, I mean, we see quick charge 2.0, 3.0, PD, 3.0 and so on. But the maximum power is shown as 60 watts. And we can even check this with this trigger, like the, the PD trigger. And so here it shows maximum power available at 20 volts is 3 amps, means 60 watts. And definitely not 100 watts like it is described here in the listing and in the box and everywhere. So I've been thinking I would have to return this. This wouldn't work as described. But now let's check with another cable. I just got this one today here. That's certified 100 watts cable. And so we can see that it has already just by uh, reconnecting here chose 20 volts maximum 5 amps. And in the auto enumeration you can see it shows a maximum of 100 watts. So that's really a difference here regarding the protocol, something which I really didn't expect. And the question is then, of course, also how does it look in real life? And so first I made a ramp up test with this cable here and I had a cut off at 3.9 amps, which is even below 80 watts. And after that, I've been doing also a ramp up test with this red 100 watts cable and it stopped at exactly 5 amps, I think, which is then 100 watts. So there's definitely a difference, not only in the power, but also in the protocol, because, yeah, USB-C has really built in some electronics. That's really something we have to get used to, because all the old USB cables, like the micro USB, or the mini USB or a standard USB-A, these connections, they don't have a built-in electronics and so there's absolutely no problem. I mean, you can get a loss because maybe the wire is uh, not thick enough, but other than that, there's absolutely no problem. But here we have really built-in electronics and so this can have big time influence on the power which you receive, like when you charge your mobile phone or so, make sure that you always have like a maximum power uh, cable. And by the way, this thing is not expensive. I think at the moment it's just around $10 with a little bit of discount. Probably you can still get it for this price if you're interested. And it has even a built-in watts meter, so it's really nice. And so I can fully recommend it. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.